Pixar Animation Studios have just introduced its first ever non-binary character, in the studio's latest 2023 release, Elemental. In a heartwarming tale of love, duty, family and finding that we have more in common than that which sets us apart, Elemental is set in a city inhabited by water, fire. As ordered, we run a little hot. Earth. <laughs> Nothing weird going on here. Uh, just a little pruning. And air. Oh, my new jacket. Our residents. A fiery young woman, Ember, and a more go with the flow guy, Wade, discover something elemental during the course of the film, according to the official Disney synopsis. It has now been revealed that voice actor Ava Hauser plays the character Lake Ripple, who is Wade's younger sibling and goes by the pronouns, they, and them. Hauser, who is also non-binary, took to social media to reveal that they play the first non-binary character from Pixar Animation Studios. On Twitter Hauser penned, big announcement, I got to play Pixar's first non-binary character. Meet Lake, the voice actor posted. I voice Lake in the new movie, Elemental. I'm seeing it in theaters tonight with my friends, so you can catch it in theaters too, if you want to see them. Peter Sohn, animator, voice actor, storyboard artist, and film director, has directed Elemental. He is known for his work at Pixar Animation Studios as the director of 2015's The Good Dinosaur and the 2009 Pixar short, Partly Cloudy. He has also been the voice of Emile in Ratatouille, What are you eating? I don't really know. Squishy in Monsters University. Chichio in Luca. Oh, mamma mia, talk to Hercule. Are you hurt? Well, my head Not you, Chicho, out of the way. Piccolina, if there is so much as a scratch. And socks in light here. Hello, Buzz. Ah! I am Socks, your personal companion robot. My what? I was issued by Star Command to ease your emotional transition after your time away. The film features the voices of Leah Lewis, known for playing Ellie Chu, in the feature film, The Half of It, as Ember Lumen, and Mamadou Athi, known for playing the character, Ramsey Cole in 2022's Jurassic World, Dominion, as Wade Ripple. The computer animated comedy drama is the 27th feature film from Pixar Animation Studios. It draws on themes of xenophobia and migration, and how love transcends differences. The film is set in Element City, where fire, water, earth and air live in perfect harmony. This is where Ember, a fearless and quick-witted young woman with a strong personality, and Wade, a sentimental, fun-loving, go-with-the-flow boy, reside. Their friendship challenges Ember's beliefs about the world they live in. House's character Lake, is Wade's younger sibling, and although they aren't a major protagonist in the story, their presence is a major win for non-binary representation. Disney has taken major strides in terms of diverse representation in recent years, with a same-sex kiss between Lightyear's Kiko and Hawthorne in the 2022 sci-fi adventure film, and the studio's first-ever black protagonist in 2020's fantasy jazz-inspired Soul, voiced by Jamie Foxx. However, non-binary characters are still in short supply on the big screen, and non-binary actors including Emma Corrin, known for playing Princess Diana in season 4 of Netflix's The Crown, the Last of Us star, Bella Ramsey, and House of the Dragons, Emma Darcy, have previously spoken out about gendered categories at major Hollywood awards ceremonies. Other voice cast actors that have roles in Elemental includes, Ronnie Del Carmen, Shilla Omi, Wendy McClendon Covey, Catherine O'Hara, Mason Wertheimer and Joe Perra. As we all emerge from our pandemic cocoons and come together in story rooms, animation dailies and impromptu brainstorming sessions, it's a joy and honor to have Pixar back on La Crozette, said Pete Doctor, Pixar's chief creative officer. Directed by the extraordinary storyteller Peter Sohn, Elemental is so funny, full of heart and frankly, stunning to see, Doctor continued. It was created for audiences to experience on the big screen and I love that it'll make its world premiere at Cannes, he concluded. Elemental, is also the first non-franchise Pixar original feature to be released in theaters rather than straight to Disney Plus since the COVID-19 pandemic. 
But, things are not looking good for this new 2023 movie, and it's already hit a rocky road and set an unwanted record for the animation studio, as it earned the lowest debut ever for a Pixar movie on its opening weekend. Elemental opened over the Juneteenth weekend in the US and earned an estimated $29.5 million. Only Toy Story has earned less than that figure out of every single Pixar film that has been released so far, and, that made, $29.1 million. However, that was back in 1993. Adjusted for inflation, Elemental's takings are much lower. Toy Story went on to become a box office hit and make cinema history, as well as gaining several Oscar nominations. But the studio is looking to rebound from the box office disappointment of its 2022 release, Lightyear, the origin story of the Toy Story hero, Buzz Lightyear. The movie brought in an earthbound $226.7 million in global ticket sales, a fraction of the $1 billion taken for 2019's Toy Story 4. This continues a somewhat troubling time for the once great animation studio. Recently, the director and producer of Lightyear were laid off at the Disney-owned studio as they shed 7,000 jobs across the company in a cost-cutting effort. And I'm sure Pixar will hope that its upcoming releases of Toy Story 5 and Inside Out 2 will pick things back up again for them soon. Have you been to see Elemental yet at the cinema? And what's your thoughts about Pixar introducing its first non-binary character? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. My name is Disney Dave, thanks for watching.